Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Michael Borger. I'm part of the Dennis family. I'm also a funeral director here in Mount Vernon. I handle uh, Kyle Ski, Dennis's funeral. And I just want to say I'm sick and tired of burying our young men and our young women. Enough is enough. Um, you know, I was telling my mom, Ms. Dennis, that, you know, one day I went into the police department to, to take care of something. I, I know one of the police officers there. And they're laughing and joking and playing around because of the fact that they just caught Shamoya's killer. I'm so happy they caught Shamoya's killer. But at the end of the day, why are they sweeping everybody else's cases under the rug? The same priority um, that they put into her case, they should put into everyone's case as well. It's just a job for them. I mean, it doesn't mean anything to them the way I see it. But why our hearts are breaking and we have constant reminders every day and we deal with this every single day, um, it, it doesn't seem to appeal to them one way or the other. If they catch them, they catch them. If they don't, they don't. Um, I've heard detectives say before, they'll slip up one day and they'll get caught eventually. But how about you do your job, which the taxpayers are taking care of, you guys, to make sure that this is taken care of. As my sister Linda said, you know, it, it's, it's, it's our lives that every day we wake up and, and we think about our loved ones that have passed away. And it's good to put effort, like I said, into, into somebody's case. But I mean, that's fine, that's cool. But what about the hundreds of other young men and young women who never made it home and they're just sitting there palling around? I mean, I find that actually very offensive. So I just want to thank everyone for coming today and um, you know, may the prayers be with the family. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next up, we're going to have uh, my sister, uh, Nazarene Duncan. But it's something in the press release uh, that I want to read that she said that is very, is, is, is very sad uh, that as a community we have, we have come to this point. She said, Mount Vernon has become immune to death like it's a third world country. That's very deep from a mother that lost her child. And, um, you know, I stand with this sister and I was with her that night and driving her around from hospital to hospital to find her son. And when we called the police department, they wouldn't even tell us what hospital he was in. How can you do that to a, to a grieving mother when she just wants to see if her son is alive or, or dead? Because at that, at that time, we didn't know. And that shows the insensitivity that some officers, I'm not saying all of them, some officers have for a community. And this is just not Mount Vernon, this is going, this is going around black communities throughout the United States. But we can change that as a, as a community. Because we, we could request and we could demand officers that are gonna treat us with compassion and it's not just a paycheck, not just a paycheck. I've been in law enforcement 27 years and I've never treated my people out of compassion. That's why I took the job. So that's what we need. And as law enforcement, there's many of, of us standing here, we're gonna stand with all the families and, and we're gonna continue to stand with all the families here in Mount Vernon. Next up is Nas Duncan. Go ahead, sir. Okay. All right. I guess press it. Just no, just hold it. I should be working. Hello, hello. There you go. First of all, I would like to thank, first and foremost, everybody that's here for your support. I would like to thank Damon Jones, Cynthia Turnquest Jones, A.J. Woodson, Minister Hafiz, um, Reverend Jeffrey Wheeler, you gotta bear with me, I'm trying to keep my composure. Um, Tony Mitchell, Patty Combs, the Four Square Peace Project, Wilfred Dennis and the Dennis family, and a host of others. I'll be here all day if I thank everybody that, su that supported me. Um, I, um, I started a social media protest, Justice for Junior. Um, Junior was my son. My son was taken from me early in his life. He was taken from his daughter 
who I thank God that she knows and I'm gonna forever make her remember who he was and that she was loved. I want to say something really quick in reference to the Mount Vernon Police Department. I'm a person, I don't call myself black. That's black. I'm brown. I'm brown. I'm not going to give you a name that somebody gave me. I am a brown American and proud of it. But within me, I don't see black or white. I see, I live in a gray place. and. When it comes down to the police department and the shenanigans that they hand out, I have this to say to you. It's Ecclesiastes 1010. If the axe is dull and the edge is unsharpened, more strength is needed. But skill will bring success. And 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 sorry, and that's that's one other thing that and I want to also give this to Mount Vernon and the city of Mount Vernon and the officials. The way of fools seem right to them, but the wise listen to advice. Mayor Thomas. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, Mount Vernon, we have to understand that when we are not pieces in a chess game that that you say checkmate and it's over when it come to taking our children from us nobody I don't care if it's a 12 year old I don't care if it's a, a 50 year old a life is a life and, and that person has families that love them. They have a side that you may not have known. So who are we to judge? I can't judge a soul out here before I am not perfect. We have to hold these officials of Mount Vernon accountable to handle these cases. When you lose a family member, it's traumatic to the family, traumatic to the mother. The mother feels it most, and um, I said to Skeet, to, I mean, oh God. <laughs> I said to Miss Dennis today and Wilford, because I put up a picture of their mother without permission, but I told them I'm very sorry if I did it with, without permission, but I had to put up the two people that feel it more than anybody, because from where he, where he was put in my womb is where it hurts the most. It was ripped from me. You bond from the day that that doctor tells you you're pregnant. That bond is there with that, it's from your womb to the heart. So when somebody strips them from you, that's where they've taken it from. They're pulling it right back there. Mount Vernon, I have to say this, these senseless crimes, when you hurt family members, you hurt your own family. Because this person may have took my son for whatever reason, but when you get caught, your family, you're being taken from your family. Jail is not a fun place. That's right. Amen. Your parents can visit you. They can visit you. But when you get up from that table and you go back and they leave, you're back caged again. Yes, they can visit you. That girlfriend you had, after about two or three years, she ain't gonna wanna go up north. She's gonna be somebody else's girlfriend. Your child that you may have is gonna be raised by another man. So think about what you're doing. Because you're not only hurting that person and their family, you're hurting yourselves. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm just so angered because we have to raise our sons and daughters we don't want other people raising our children. Yeah. Parents, pay attention to your children. Family members, listen for the silent cries. Because there's a lot of people that we are so self-absorbed in ourselves in this millennial time. This is a different generation we're dealing with. So guess what? We may be baby boomers. We may be generation X's. But we have to learn how to deal with these millennials because this is an instant gratification generation. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So we have to learn how to deal with them. We can't shun them because we don't understand them. 
So maybe we have to come down to their level to understand them. Look for the red flags, because not every kid wants to be in this. I've had students that talk to me and said to me, I said, you don't have to do this. And he said, Miss Duncan, I don't have a choice. I live there. So you guys, you come out. Don't speak it. Live it. Live it. Be mentors to these boys. Ladies, it's a lot of them. Be mentors, positive mentors to these kids. I'm passionate when it comes to kids, and I don't like to see nobody hurt kids. We do have to be there for these kids because they are our future. So if we don't be there, these shooters, they coming in droves because that's what they know. I was in city council meeting the other day, and something uh, somebody said, it kind of struck me as strange. And I said, I got to speak about this. A, a, a guy got up, a gentleman got up and he said he, was, he wanted to address the shootings in Mount Vernon and there were shots by his house. We plan for emergency evacuations. We plan for fires. He had a plan for freaking shooting. Do I have to teach my kids? We supposed to say stop, drop, and roll as a fire, but no, I gotta teach my kids to duck, get away from the window because of the shooting. Who's, who's taking over here? Cause it looked like the streets are taking over. Take back your streets, Mount That's Vernon. Right. That's right. People, I say this. Stop, come out for stuff like this. Come out, come to city council, hear about your town, reach out to somebody if you don't know. That's what we're here for. Reach out, learn about your city. Don't come out in droves when they're giving out toys, book bags, hamburgers. Come out for knowledge. That's right. Come out and be enlightened. That's right. Because see, they think that you're peasants. That's right. So don't let them take and give you their perks for your silence, because that's what it's for. Their perks is for your silence. See, I didn't take any perks because I'm not going to be silent. Amen. Mm. Silence speaks in value. That's right. And people need to understand that. Don't let them put an I will support for perks around, chain around your neck. That's right. Don't Come listen. out for more. For more. There's a lot of people, I mean, my son was loved. He was my big six foot six baby. People didn't understand that. He was a big baby. And he had a heart and a good one too. And a good one. And he's loved by many. His friend is on the phone from the Westchester County jail crying because he wanted to be here to support his friend. Let's stop filling up those jails because it's a business. Amen. It's a business. Let's stop filling them up. All you young people, encourage the other one. Look to the other one, encourage somebody. It's not, it, it only takes a little bit to be good and do good. Because if you live in a pessimistic world, you're always going to see that glass as half empty. Reach out. Touch someone. I'm telling you, young, the, I, I, for the younger people that feel that they can't make it, I'm from Mount Vernon. And I always did not have a perfect life. I am not perfect by a long shot. I got skeletons. Matter of fact, I got a family of them. But see, my thing is, I reveal my skeleton so nobody has weapons against me. That's right. Amen. So this is why nobody can't do anything to That's me right. or pull nothing out the closet because I gave it to you first. But what I can say, I didn't graduate Mount Vernon High School. I did not graduate because I ran the streets. I didn't have that mentor to pull me. But I had a kid. And I said, once I had my first son, everything I did, I did from 13 to 21. That's young to be out there. And when I had my first son, I gave it all up. because I I, It was two places that was destined for me. And it was going to be jail or death. 
and I didn't want nobody raising my son by way of either channel. So I stopped everything that I was doing. And I did that at the age of 21. So if you know somebody out there, and I went back to school. I went back to school and I kept going, and I kept going, and I kept going till I have a degree in psychology, and I am now working 15 years for the school district that I dropped out from. So you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. People think they know you. They don't know you. You don't know me because we went to school together. You know of me. And I don't know you because it is not my main purpose to worry about somebody's life and where and when unless I'm trying to help them. So Mount Vernon, you have to want to be helped because people don't want to help something that you can't help. Reach out. Be there. We got emails. You know who we are. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and we'll get back because that's the way it works. But this stuff with the police department and the dealings the extreme lack of professionalism, extreme. I say, when you dealing with stuff, I am a big, big advocate of professionalism and the way that things are being handled are not professional. You, I'm not gonna say that all of the cops are, being, are, are, are bad cops. No, because the people that I've met, they've been really good people. They're really good people, but they're guided the wrong way. And guess what? There's but so much that they can do because of the higher power that's telling them what to do. That's right. They got families to feed. That's right. That's right. So we can't blame no one individual. People got families to feed. I got families to feed. I'm not one for trying to take nobody's job from them because it's rough out here. It's rough out here. You know, and, I, and, and you, got, you got good people. Y'all got to reach out to the good people. Reach out to them. You got bad people. You got ignorant people. But the bad and the ignorant, we got to be there to enlighten them. Because at some point in time, they will see that light. What I do say is that I'm upset that I have to be here. Because people may see my family and they may say, how's Nash? She's all right. It's a lie. It's a lie. I am not all right. I am a hot mess. I'm good at concealing because I like to look good. There you go. <laughs> but you don't see me when I'm in my house and I'm perplexed and depressed and crying and I can't even look at my son's picture for more than two minutes before I break down. I'm not picture ready yet. I, have, I, I, I refrained from social media for months because it was too much homage being played to my son and I can't look at it. I came back, I swallowed up every piece of being in me and, and came back to start this protest. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, it went viral. And, I, and it's going to continue to go on until those culprits are caught. And you will get caught. You are going to get caught. That's a promise from me. From me, I may be old and dying, but I may have my cane, but I'm going to be in that courtroom when they catch his ass. Believe me. And you will get caught. It has to stop. Who are you to take a life? Who are you to say, this is it for this person? I don't believe in we all a number. No, I don't believe in that because God did not have it in for somebody to shoot my son 14 times. That's a cruel, that person, that person, I, you know, I pray for them. I pray for their mother because they was guided wrongly. Because anybody that can do something so brutal, we got mental illnesses in the air right there. That's right. We got, we got to address those. Let's not find out about their mental illnesses when they get assessed at the jail. Because by then it's too late. Somebody's right. child is gone. That's right. Attack That's right. these mental illnesses. Parents, be aware. Do not be ashamed. Get help. We all are mentally ill. We all are emotionally, emotionally disturbed. When you are mad, your emotions are disturbed. When you sad, your emotions are disturbed. So we have to do something. We have to do something. And I'm going to tell you, I am not going to sit here and say the police are the enemy. 
Because guess what? If we strip them, we got all kind of hell. I don't know if anybody's seen the purge, but I don't want it to happen here. That's right. That's right. That's right. I don't want it to happen here. So we got to come together. City council have to come together with the mayor, with the police, with the, with the, the city, instead of fighting each other over foolishness. We are human beings here that you're dealing with. Yes, you go home to your white picket fence and you, you forget about it or you can laugh about it. It's not a game. Don't let it hit you. I was out here fighting when I didn't have no, no missing kids for parents that, that, did, that, that didn't get justice. And now I'm one of the parents that I used to fight for. But I'm going to tell you this. I am driven. I'm driven. I am at my best when I'm angry. That's right. Go ahead, right. I am at my best when I'm angry. So this stuff here and all of these letters, and I'm ashamed of you, Mayor Thomas, because I don't have nothing against nobody. I don't have no political agenda. No batteries are twisted in my back. This is me all day, every day. I don't have to be coerced. But I am ashamed because I reached out to you and a lot of this could have been avoided with just a simple text or a phone call back and say, let's meet. To this day, I haven't heard from this man. Mm. And it's been a month, him and the commissioner. But yet I heard from a commissioner who was supposed to be a commissioner, but I get a letter that he's not really a commissioner. I'm confused. Somebody tell me something. Because why should a trained person who went to school for criminal justice and a person who took and, 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 and had took a test and went to the academy had to look up to somebody who has no judicial background. That's right. No way. That's and right. you will not infiltrate my case. And I will take this to the county. From the county, I will go to the state. From the state, I'll be in Washington. That's right. That's right. That's right. But it will not stop. Because a light needs to be shined on them. Instead of being in the club talking about shining a light on them. No, shine a light over there. That's, right. mm. That's, right. That's where you shine your light. That's right. oh, yeah. So that that bullshit that they doing stop. That's I right. can't go no more. Amen. 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 Amen.